हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्ट्रेसेस इन द प्रेशर वेसल्स दीज आर प्रेशर वेसल्स बेसिकली बेसिकली दीज आर प्रेशर वेसल्स प्रेशर वेसल्स मींस दैट सम प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड इंटरनली और एक्सटर्नली टू सम वेसल्स एंड ड्यू टू दैट प्रेशर the stresses are developed in the material and these stress uh, due to these stresses the material can fail right so some internal pressure is developed that is why we are calling that pressure vessels right and that pressure is causing the failure of cylinder due to the stress is developed right so suppose we have a we, we show a cylinder right so uh, whatever cylinder we can show like this suppose this is a closed cylinder this is a closed cylinder like this we are showing the only front view front view here and it has some thickness t it has some thickness t of the material like this t is the thickness of this material is it right so we have applied some pressure and pressure will be distributed uniformly some internal pressure is there and due to which some stresses will be developed in the material this is the p pressure applied pressure is applied and due to which some stresses are developed in the material right and suppose small d is the dia of this uh, pressure vessel this is the d the diameter internal diameter of the pressure vessel so d is the internal internal diameter of cylinder and t is the this t is the thickness of cylinder thickness of cylinder right so in this case why we are calling it a thin cylinder for thin cylinders for cylinder to be thin to be thin for cylinder to be thin the thickness of the cylinder should be less than equal to d by 20 this is generally the uh, dimensions we are using that if the thickness is very less that less than d by 20 d is the diameter of this cylinder then we call the cylinders as thin cylinders right and what are the stresses developed in this cylinder stresses developed in the cylinder stresses developed in suppose we are talking about cylinder the same case is with spheres also we are talking of of the cylinders right so one of the stresses is longitudinal stresses the pressure is trying to burst in this direction in length direction right so there will be some extension increase in length of this material right because both side the pressure is causing this to extend the length of this uh, cylinder so there will be tensile stress developed in the material of this cylinder so you will see first is the first type of stress is the longitudinal stress longitudinal stress that is sigma l longitudinal stress right so what uh, what type of stress if we show by figure this is the material like this and the stresses developed are like this you will see across the length across the length due to this pressure due to this pressure there will be some stress is developed longitudinally right in this direction like this sigma L. right on the on the uh, this circle if you say this is a uh, hollow circle a type of hollow circle on that the longitudinal stresses will be developed sigma l right or we can show here that these stresses are developed in this direction like this 
we want to show here this is sigma l right so this is sigma l these are the stresses developed in the material sigma l right so these are the longitudinal stresses developed in the material of this boiler or it may be a boiler it may be lpg gas cylinder or it may be another oxygen gas cylinder all are considered as thin cylinders right boilers under certain limit are considered as a thin cylinders so there are many examples or in our practical life uh, boilers in our home appliances in kitchen and there are lpg cylinders are there that is also pressurized cylinders and that is also called thin cylinders basically right and uh, oxygen cylinders are there commercially so that is also called thin cylinders boilers are also called thin cylinders in certain limits so these are all the examples of uh, pressure vessels or thin cylinders right so one of the stress developed is longitudinal stress sigma l which is shown here another is another is that is hoop stress hoop stress hoop stress sigma h it is noted by sigma h hoop stress right so in this direction also in this direction in this perpendicular to sigma l again there is change in length increase in length there is strain developed in the material and that due to that straining the stress is developed in the material right in this direction so the material will like to extend in this direction also due to that pressure like this right so perpendicular to this sigma l in circumferential direction right under the circumference sigma h right so this is another type of stress that is hoop stress or circumferential stress this is also called circumferential stress right because it is acting at the circumference at the circumference of the uh, cylinder right if we cut it we can see how the cylinder will look like so that is like this suppose this is our cylinder and and uh, you will see here like this Uh, like this like this right so we have cut it in between between and uh, shown this circumference of the material so there will be at this circumference on this circumference like this suppose this is one of the circumference i am showing like here that this is the sigma h like this sigma h on each circumference here also this sigma h like here also this is sigma h so all the circumference on circumference the hoop stresses are developed hoop stresses are developed right so uh, one more figure uh, we can show here like this on this circumference on this circle like this so there is sigma h developed at at every point on the circumference on the circumference sigma h will be developed like this right at every point we are showing some few points only like this right so this is the another way of showing the hoop stresses or circumferential stresses right so this is also called circumferential stress right and the third type of stress which developed in this material is and which is generally neglected that is the radial stress radial stress right so hoop stress is also called circumferential stress remember and radial stress in radial direction there is a third direction there is a third direction this direction this direction in radial direction if we go in this direction this is circumferential this is circumferential but if we go in this in the radial direction suppose this is the radius radius of the cylinder so in radial direction also there are some stresses developed in the material 
some stresses are developed in the material like this sigma r sigma r radial direction right so radial stresses or sigma r radial stresses stresses developed in radial direction right so if we talk about like this like this i am removing from here because here i have shown the sigma h so in radial direction in radial direction there are stresses developed like this that is sigma r that is sigma r right in radial direction let us show here here in this direction like this sigma r this is radial radial stresses right in radial direction and generally this is this is generally compressive in nature compressive in nature radial stresses are mostly compressive in nature sigma r right radial stresses are there right in radial direction isn't it and uh, most of the time it is nearly equal to the pressure applied which the pressure is applied and but because the thickness of the cylinder is very small because we are talking about the thin cylinder so we generally remove these stresses because in the small thin cylinder thin area the stress developed is very small right so it is most of the time it is neglected it is neglected for thin cylinders it is neglected generally for thin cylinders right so we have three types of stresses longitudinal stresses hoop stresses and radial stresses developed in the pressure vessels